Starting on round seven, we will start with our event phase. Mm, well, we're going to have something bad happen. We have nightmares because we went to the shrine. This says, all night you had nightmares about pagan, uh, pagan gods and didn't sleep very well. <laughs> Put Y on the build, gather, and explore action spaces. During the next action of each of these types, you must re-roll one success result. I always take this as the next time that we have to roll dice for that action. So if I guarantee an action, I don't have to re-roll because I'm not rolling for it. But when I do roll, I will have to re-roll a success. And that's for each of the actions. Let's flip our next card. And we have fight. Oh, great. First of all, we have to place uh, the brown question mark. So not only are we going to have to re-roll a success, we're also going to have an adventure for sure when we build our next item. <laughs> great. This one just states, when you are tired, you don't act reasonably. <laughs> that is true. We all take one wound. I think that is going to knock down our uh, morale by one. The soldier is going to go over one of her morale lines. Everyone else should be okay. We'll push down our morale down to one. Now we do move to the morale phase. Our cook is the first player now. He will gener or gain one determination token. Finally, for production, we'll go ahead and generate three food and one wood. For this round, we're going to have our cook do our explore and look at uh, totem number six and hopefully find some of our convicts and hopefully not get too injured. We have our explorer here going to do a speech, which totally makes sense. She's been speeching to everybody in the last couple of rounds. And with the amount of determination she has, she's probably going to do it again. Our soldier is going to go ahead and check out one of the beasts and take it out for some food. Our carpenters continue to be our guard. He's going to guard our convicts. He's also going to build and use the build to guarantee the lantern so we can always get a brown worker each round. And then I'm going to have our explorer rest to get some healing. Let's start resolving. We'll grab our one determination for our explorer and discard the speech. Let's then go ahead and check out this beast. Come on, give me tons of food. Our weapon level is at a 10. Okay, this is only a 3. We're going to move from a 10 down to a 9. We found a wild pig. We get 3 food and 1 fur. I love the 3 food. We're going to have to work on getting our soldier special ability. Our soldier with enough determination is actually able to put hunt hunting cards into the hunting deck. And that's what I think we need. So I think we're going to prioritize her getting some, some more determination. We just have our one build here, and this is also guaranteed because we have two workers here. We now will have a brown worker each round we can use to help us build. Now it's our cook trying to explore. And remember, we're going to have to re-roll a yes, which we didn't even roll. We rolled a fail. <laughs> so our cook will gain two determination tokens, and he'll still have an adventure. That means he couldn't seem to find the convicts that are on our own blasted tile this whole time. Oh, that makes total thematic sense for the way that he's been rolling. <laughs> First off, this success reroll token, I believe, stays out on the adventure deck until we actually succeed. So I'm going to put that back on the adventure deck. And then look at this wrong track. You've become lost and don't make it back to the camp for the night. At the beginning of the next day, you return to the camp with some wood. Execute the night phase outside the camp at the beginning of the next round before the event phase get two wood. <laughs> Oh, that means it's going to take wounds. Finally, we'll have our explorer do a simple rest action. She'll move back one space on her wound track. Here we have our cook and explorer. So our explorer is going to heal by one. I also want to show you for the cook. I'm going to go ahead and do stone soup. We can discard three determination, which is what we have, to generate one food. That means that overnight, we're only going to take one wound for sleeping out in the stars because this is our personal one food. We also have our two wood that, hey, we learned how to use the hatchet last time. And now <laughs> at least we use the hatchet, even though we failed at finding those convicts. Just for ease of recording, I am going to show you as well that at the end of the round, he'll use this food. So he doesn't take two wounds for that, but he is going to take a wound for sleeping outside. And that's going to hit our morale, knocking us back down to zero. But our explorer, who's been just doing all the talking of the group, she's going to use her three to push us back up on the morale track to one. I find getting that determination can be so important. As you can see, it saved the cook, really. <laughs> this means right now our morale track will be at one. We're going to move to the weather phase. We have to roll the red die. So the different items that you'll see on the red die, blank, nothing. 
This means we have to fight a level 3 beast. Eh, we're at a 9 for our weapon level. We're fine. This means our palisade gets knocked down by 1. Our palisade is at 1, so we're okay there. We'll just go down to 0. And I believe there's one more. Here we go. We lose one food. Let's see what we get. We rolled it up, and I believe that's a 0, you guys. Yes, that's a nothing. So for the weather phase, nothing happens. For our night phase, we've already taken care of the cook. We have our three for the remaining characters that are at the camp, and then the one for our two convicts. That's all of our food. We'll move to round eight. We're, we're now going to roll the orange die for this round. Our explorer is currently first player, so we will draw the next card. And we do have a book icon, so that means our explorer is going to lose one determination. That's okay. She had three. She had so much determination before. <laughs> you know, it's all right. Our event is go outside the camp and start to pray. <laughs> Put a minus one worker in the explore action space. Oh, that means we need an additional worker to do our explore. So if I'm going to explore that location six, that's two spaces away from our camp. Yeah, we're going to need three workers to roll dice, four workers to guarantee. So, and that's this token. I'll put that onto the green exploration deck. Oh yeah, and if I roll, I have to re-roll a success. Thanks to our explorer's use of her special ability, we're going to still be able to generate one determination. She has three, and I think I'm going to immediately use those three to use that special ability again. She's just going to talk it up, put us up to two for our morale. I just find that it's so helpful to not be losing determination <laughs> at that morale phase, because as you can see, your, your wounds can add up real quick in this game. We're going to be quite busy for our production phase. We're going to have three food and one wood. And then we're going to also have the two wood that the cook, cook brings back. <laughs> we have a ton of resources, which is great. I just need to find those convicts. And honestly, I'm sitting pretty well. We'll have our explorer take care of this event. That will at least get her one determination. We're going to use the map for the green worker. The explorer is going to support the soldier to try and find those convicts. The cook couldn't do it. The soldier says, let me handle it. Now, here's the thing. Normally, that would guarantee that we would resolve this action, but because of this minus one worker, we still have to roll. Just assume until I tell you otherwise, I'm always having the carpenter use one of his workers to guard. Just makes sense because he's usually building one component around. Now that he has his trusty little lantern to help him work all night, he'll go ahead and use one wood and guarantee the build of the moat. That will give us plus two to our palisade. We're also not going to let our cook go out, <laughs> out anywhere, okay? He just got lost. We're going to have him use one of the uh, furs here to create the diary. The nice thing about the diary is we'll get plus one, uh, plus one determination each morale phase. Pretty nice. Finally, the soldier needs a total of four determination tokens to use her special ability to grab a beast from the hunting deck and put it onto the board so she can actually go hunting. So I'm going to have her go here to generate two determination. This round should go pretty quick. We'll go ahead and grab our one determination for searching for the old trail. Cool. And that's going to our explorer. Let's go ahead and complete our builds. So we'll build with our carpenter. This will go here. We have now built a moat, which will increase our palisade by two. And then we've gener or created the diary. Our cook has written the diary all about all the crazy things he's encountered. <laughs> And they all love it. They love reading about it. They love giving him a hard time about how he can't seem to do anything right in the woods. Our soldier is rolling dice. We have to re-roll a success if we get one, which we do. So we also are going to have an adventure and take a wound. Uh, let's re-roll this. We still succeeded. Great. Don't get me wrong. I wish we hadn't taken the wound or have the adventure, but I'll take that to be able to actually find another convict. While we were hunting for those convicts, we happened to find some bamboo. We have to decide, discard this card, or get two wood and shuffle this event into the event deck. I don't need wood. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces of wood. So I'm going to discard it. I don't want to deal with the other side. I don't know what it is. We're not going to deal with it. I'll discard it. We're doing the number six totem, so that means we have to do the one trap, the one monster, one treasure, and then we get to draw two cards from the convict's deck. We'll start by drawing the top card, and we have a trap. Uh, if possible, okay, this says a rope pulls you up and you lose your weapon. If possible, up to minus two of our weapon level. Well, weapon level is nine. I could stop that. And I think I still will. Remember, we found this old diary. It's probably what made the cook decide to write his own diary. And we're going to use that to cancel this. I like my weapon being super high because we've still got convicts we have to fight off. So that's going to cancel the trap. 
Then we have, that's another trap, we can ignore that. Uh, our treasure, old clothes. A little smelly, but they still work. Keep this card, and from now on, oh, that is awesome. One snow turns into just one rain cloud. That means we don't have to give up wood for that. Sweet. Okay, that's our treasure. Where's our monster? Oh, a scorpion. If you don't have the cure, you get three wounds. Do you see? Or that's medicine, technically. That is why you make the medicine. I have the medicine. I built that, what, the second round? I don't have to worry about the scorpion. <laughs> that's great. That means we get to resolve two of these convict cards. Our first one we have oh, is a dead thug. You found one of them, but it was too late. Put one of the black markers on the convict's space. Now, I don't know. Does that mean the negative effects for placing that happen? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it does. I, I think that'll make it a little bit harder. So that's our third convict, but he's already dead. So that means uh, we lose one determination. We lose one to our weapon level and our morale goes down one. This means our morale is at one and our weapon level is down to eight. Okay, that was our first one. Now we get to our second one. Let's see. What do we have? We have Bloody Marco. He grabs his makeshift spear and attacks me. <laughs> He's a four. Additionally, if your weapon level is lower than a seven, get one wound. We're at an eight. Awesome. So we're definitely going to apprehend him. We're at a seven. He's at a four. So we'll be able to take him out. He doesn't reduce our weapon at all. And we are going to keep him with us. He's probably going to be pissed. We can't use him either, but that's okay. We now, though, have three convicts with us. And when we get one more, actually, all we need is one more. But when we get one more, we're going to need two additional food around. Finally, we'll have our soldier activate. She'll go ahead and gain two determination tokens so that hopefully next round she can get a beast. Now, she only has three determination tokens, but she's going to be first player next round. And so hopefully that will mean she'll have four and she'll be able to get a beast that she can hunt. We're now at the weather phase. We're rolling one die, this orange one. Great. One rain cloud. Our level of our roof is two, so we should be all set. Finally, during the night phase, we'll go ahead and eat our five food, four for our characters and one for the three convicts. Once we get one more convict, you guys, we're going to have to spend another food. And that's all the food that I have. I do have those biscuits, though. Don't forget that. That's a starting item from the beginning of the game that I got. So I still have those, but that's it. So I'm gonna, I really need to get some food next round. We'll go ahead and move to round nine. We'll roll the red die during the weather phase this round. And then in round 10, we're actually going to roll two dice. We're going to roll the white die, which you haven't seen, which is all about snow. <laughs> to start round nine, we'll go ahead and grab our event. And we have predators. No food sources anymore. Predators have their prey. Oh, no. The closest, and this is at your campsite, too, is exhausted. So food. You have to cover it with one of these black tokens. Oh, that's annoying. Um, if there's no, if there's none that are by you, each player takes one wound. So we do have one. Oh, but good. We can actually get rid of it. We can take out the predators here with two workers, and we can unexhaust that. But for this round, it means that we're going to generate less food. Great. And I can't forget, I have to place a green question mark on my explore action. The nice thing is, though, our soldier will gain her fourth determination token. So she'll go ahead and get a beast at the beginning of that action phase. Normally, we generate two food on our tile, plus we grab one from here. This time, we're only going to generate one because of our snare. And then we'll generate one from here. So we're going to grab two food and one, uh, one wood. I'm going to go ahead and have the explorer take care of these predators. She just needs a weapon level of two, which we do, and she has to use two workers to do it. I'm also going to have our soldier spend her four determination tokens. Her special ability is then she can take the top card of the beast deck here and put it into the hunting deck. Well, that means it's the only one that's there. <laughs> so then she's going to spend her two workers to go here and hunt that beast. In the meantime, we're going to have our cook go ahead and do some gathering. He's going to try and gather some food. Our carpenter is half guarding and half will be building the dam here using one wood. That will give us two non-perishable food. Now let's resolve. So we'll resolve this with our explorer. We can now remove this token from the board and we gain one determination. Our soldier will then fight, and our fight level is eight, and we have a gorilla. Oh my gosh, oh look at that food though. Okay, six, we're at an eight, minus three though. So we're gonna go all the way down to a five, but we are gonna get five food. Well, that's wonderful. 
one, two, three, four, five, and two fur. <laughs> and we're gonna get a discovery token as well. Let's see what we get. We'll flip this one over. Oh, this says tobacco. So somehow we found tobacco with the gorilla. <laughs> I don't know. But what's nice is we're going to push up our morale at after the action phase. We'll push it up by one. We'll then do our guaranteed build by our carpenter with his worker, aka the lantern. And it's just amazing. We just generated a total of seven food in one round. And we get to keep any leftovers. <laughs> I mean, we are totally rocking this game right now. Uh, I'm saying that and I'm sure I'm going to regret it, but it feels good. Finally, we have our two gather actions. Don't forget, we still have a re-roll here, and we have a great question mark, so I'm not even going to roll the adventure die. We're just going to take it as it is. Okay, we're going to have to take a wound. We have to re-roll this one, and we fail. <laughs> we do get two determination tokens. Ah, oh, you can only fail one time with gathering. Man, this cook. And he's going to take a wound. He'll have to move up one on here, and then now let's see what our adventure is for not finding food. <laughs> How can he not have fi find food? He's a cook. We have after the hurricane. This area is devastated and the trees are demolished. Well, that means we get to have two wood, but then we're going to put a minus one worker on the tile where you're gathering and shuffle this event into the deck. Oh, wonderful. Two wood, but I don't really need wood. I'm overflowing with wood. I need food. <laughs> Fortunately, we can probably ignore that tile going forward. We'll have that minus one worker, but nah. Okay, there we go. Just a success. We'll gain one food, no adventure, and no wound. I'm just a little proud on how we did here. <laughs> Look at all that food. We're going to push up our determination with this. And we've got some fur. Yeah, I mean, I've never had this many resources ever <laughs> playing this game. Okay, this should just be at a two. There we go. We'll just roll our red die for the weather. Okay, that means we'll knock our palisade from a three down to a two. In our night phase, we have our five food. We still only have three convicts. I'm going to need to find that last one, hopefully this next round, because, well, I gave myself a one round buffer just in case. In case I fail this round, I need to, need, need, need to find them by the 11th round. Starting round 10 here, we will start with our event card. Oh, what is this? This was, oh, it was stormy again. A dreadful storm destroyed this whole area. The tile with the minus one worker becomes inaccessible. Turn it face down and discard all tokens and markers. <laughs> Basically, the hurricane just destroyed that location. What? Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, I flipped the tile. Let's see. Oh no, not another one. What is this? Demon of the night. It's back. Fight the beast. Oh, this is a big ape. Uh, we have a weapon of five. So actually, this isn't bad. Just gives us two fur. <laughs> Thanks. Bring it on, big ape. We just took out your brother, the gorilla. <laughs> okay, took this one out. And let's see, we have otters. Okay, our first player is our carpenter. So that means our carpenter is going to lose one determination because of the book. This says the closest food tile is exhausted. <laughs> of course it is. Now, this is a fish icon, and I believe that means the, of the actual fish icon, not just the parrot icon. So I have one of those that's right next to us, but it's not one of the ones with the shortcut. So I'm going to cover that one, and then we don't have to worry about it. So, I mean, successful hunting, we can do that. It's hilarious that these two came out at the same time, because uh, we just took care of one like this the last round. But this one's not the end of the world. I would say our closest tile is either this one or this one with the fish icon. So I'm just going to cover up this one. Hmm. I don't think that's cheating. <laughs> I think you get to decide. So then we'll have our carpenter gain two determination because of the morale that we're at. Everyone's feeling pretty good. I'm feeling good. They're feeling really good. And then we'll generate our three food and our one wood. We're going to go ahead and send our explorer and guarantee that we're going to explore this spot. Now we have an adventure token on the green deck, so we're going to have to have an adventure, but we don't have to roll dice. We're also going to have our soldiers do that with our map to guarantee here. I'm doing it twice. I know I only need one convict, but there's other deck cards in the deck that aren't convicts. So <laughs> this way I'm hedging my bets. I'll also have my soldier take care of the otters. Yeah, she can totally hunt them. She loves hunting, so she'll take them out. No problem. Our carpenter will be guarding and will be building one more to our roof. Our roof level will be three. And I think I forgot to show you, or I showed you, but I forgot to say it. Our cook is going to try and gather two food. 
We'll take care of those otters first, so we'll discard this card, and that also means we discard this black token, which is great. We're now going to do our gather action. We'll do that with the tile that's uh, directly adjacent to us to the right. And we do get an adventure, but we do succeed. So that means the cook did find one food, but what adventure did he have? It's a gold coin, you guys, but don't worry. We've already found gold and we know it's useless. And yet we find this gold coin and we decide to take it. Why? You know it's not useful. I guess maybe he's assuming we're going to go back to civilization. Maybe that's why, because <laughs> we are going to have to shuffle this in our deck. Here we go for gather two. Come on. Oh, man, I was hoping he wasn't going to take a wound. He did succeed, but with that wound, he's going to push our morale back down to one. <sighs> yeah, I should have thought about that. I should have just done one. I don't think I needed two food, but that's okay. I was being too risky and I didn't need to do it. Our cook will move to here. He only has three hearts left. So next round, you know what he's doing. He's hanging around at camp. <laughs> We're going to activate our explorer next. We have to draw an event card, even though we don't have to roll dice. And we have a storm on the horizon. A storm is fast approaching. And we're going to shuffle this into the deck. No, you guys, we're so close. Don't do it to me, event deck. Don't do it to me. Now we move to our mystery cards. Our first one, we have a snake. Get two wounds. We just automatically get two wounds. Oh my gosh, that almost kills the explorer. At least she doesn't hit our morale. But yeah, two more wounds. Well, I guess three. Three more and she dies and we lose the game. That was our monster. We still have to do a trap. Okay, we found a backpack. You find an old backpack filled with hope. You look inside and it's empty. <laughs> Keep this card. Starting next round, when a player takes an explore action, they additionally draw two. Oh, this is cool. They draw two discovery tokens, choose one and discard the other. I'm so glad I got that at the end of the game. Useless backpack. <laughs> okay, we still have to find a trap. And no, that's not a trap. That's not a trap. That's not a trap. That's not a trap. I've seen blankets so many times. Uh, candles, old rifle. Okay, confused. This says you feed a strange. Oh, you no, know, you feel a strange smell and you feel dizzy. Put a success re-roll on your character sheet. Next round, you must re-roll one success result. If you take an action with two pawns, you must roll the success die, but not the other two dice. Ooh, you discard this at the end of the next round. So we don't want her to be doing anything that she... I mean, maybe I'll just have her doing a rest action. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I can find these two uh, convicts or just this one convict, I don't have to do much next round. I just have to survive. Well, we waded through that entire mystery deck. <laughs> Let's see what we find. We have traces. Of course, it's traces. It's not even the convict. Draw one mystery card. Okay, don't be something bad. Please be something nice. No, it's a trap. Poisonous spores. You've inhaled a weird powder. It all starts with a single sneeze. <laughs> Get one wound. If you don't have the medicine, I do. Each player gets one wound in the night phase this round. <sighs> okay, our explorer is now two away from death. Well, that was our explorer. Our explorer did the one token. Get that thing out of here. <laughs> It's now our soldier. We don't have to roll. Here's the thing, you guys. I totally forgot about the invention cards on the scenario sheet. Don't do that. Don't forget about them. I could have built those torches and negated one of these two bad cards from the mystery deck. 100% forgot about it. I was building things I didn't even need just for fun with our carpenter. Eh, oh well. You live and you learn. Okay, here's our treasure. We have a ceremonial bull, an artifact of an ancient tribe. Put a re-roll on your character sheet. Starting next round, you'll have to re-roll one success result per action. Per action. Shuffle in the event deck. Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be a treasure and it's going to hurt us. It's a curse. We'll have to remove this when we draw this. <laughs> Yay, even the, cur or even the treasures are hurting us. I think this game just doesn't want me to win on camera because it doesn't want people to believe you can actually win this game or something. Because now I've got two people that are re-rolling all of their actions. <laughs> Okay, that was the treasure. Uh, oh, no, that, it would have been nice to get the hatchet as the treasure. Oh, collapse. Oh, look at this. Stop drawing mystery cards. I'm totally fine with that. Don't need to find a monster. Thank you very much. Can anybody say role reversal? <laughs> the treasure was bad for us, but the trap was good for us. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. So let's reveal our convict. And we have Morose Mary. She was calmly sitting on a rock, sharpening her knife. <laughs> Her weapon level is three. We're at a five. We're fine. We'll go down to a four. If you don't have medicine, take one wound. 
Do you see why medicine's important? Always have medicine. I, I cannot stress that enough. Medicine. <laughs> We're going to take her in. I am totally fine paying food for her for, what, two rounds? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and move into our weather phase. I have to remember I have these large leaves and the old clothes. So I'm going to roll. Oh, wow. That is three clouds. Now, the first thing is I'm going to use the large leaves to cancel this. Then this can convert one of these snow clouds into a rain cloud. So I'm going to move this to a one snow and I have one rain. That's what I have. So the one snow means I have to discard one wood. And then the two total clouds means my my uh, roof needs to be at two or higher. My roof's at three, so no problem there. Weather's not touching this group. In the night phase, we need to eat a total of six food. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone's well fed. Even the convicts who are ticked that we captured them, we've captured or found dead all of the all the convicts we need. So now we just need to survive for this final round. Round eleven. This is it. Let's see, how many bad cards are we going to reveal? Okay, first we have a storm. Uh, the storm is here. The night will be very difficult yeah, until that blasted boat shows up. We're going to have to place the storm token in the weather space. That means our palisade will be knocked down by one. That's totally fine. Our palisade's at two. We're ready and prepared for that storm. Our next card, which of course is another bad card. Oh, there's another one underneath it. Oh, the Puma! I forgot about the Puma! Okay, the Puma's going to attack. We have a weapon level of five still, so that Puma attacks for three. We're just fine. We get a minus one, so now it's going to be at a four, but we get two food, which is actually great. I think that's what we needed to survive the next round. One for, oh, our Palisade does get hit to a one, but that's okay. We still have it at a one and that means with that storm making it down to a zero we're okay that puma was slow to come back to our campsite <laughs> trying to find the best time to get us i guess okay oh this will be our last bad one we have gorilla in the camp on this i know this it was probably following you minus two to our weapon level so our weapon went down to a four now it's down to a two <laughs> remember we had our weapon at a 10 at one point finally our actual event for this round and the cook is the first player don't forget that. So our cook loses one determination. He has two, so he'll lose one. That's fine. Oh, I hate these things are so slippery. Here we go. We have insomnia. Put a six uh, re-roll in the build, gather, and explore action sp spaces. During the next action of each type, you must re-roll one success result. During the morale phase, our cook will just gain back the determination he lost by revealing that book token. And then looking here for our production, we'll generate three food again and one wood. And you know what, you guys? I need to have a total of six food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine food, and I'm going to be rolling the potential snow die. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got tons of snow or tons of wood here. So, yeah, I think for this round, I'm going to make it super, super simple. I'm going to have everyone do the rest action, except for our soldier. We're going to do the rest here, just so that we can get one determination. For absolutely no reason, other than I just wanted to take care of it. <laughs> everyone else will heal. Our carpenter will only heal one. Our soldier will heal one. But our cook and our explorer will heal two. Moving to that weather phase, we'll go ahead and knock our palisade down to zero. That's fine. And we'll roll our die. We get one snow, which gets converted into one rain cloud, which actually this die doesn't even have. Here we go. One rain cloud. The level of our roof is three. We are good. We have our six food here, plus we have our three extra. We're going to feast tonight because we know that ship is coming. Even though with that storm, the ship shows up, we've got four out of our five convicts with confirmations that one of them has died, including one of our crew members. But that's okay. Overall, I would say that was a successful journey. That was hunting convicts for the first time. So that was fun. Uh, that was definitely, I think, one of the easier scenarios. I think they gave you a lot of things to kind of help you out. I know that those traps can hurt you and the monsters can hurt you, but we were able to mitigate those enough. I didn't even build the scenario-specific invention cards. <laughs> um, so yeah, this definitely is not my favorite. My favorite is the one that I actually recorded a long time ago called Robinson's Family, where you're actually trying to live on the island and you have kids. I love that one. You have to build an entire invention board. The whole thing has to be built. Yeah, that one is, that's one of my favorite scenarios. 
If you figured out the horror mode from the expansion, let me know because I think it'll be super cool. I just could not get through those rules. And maybe if I did the campaign, it'll all make sense. But yeah, I mean, there's so many great things about this game. I love it. But the rules are just not the clearest. And I'm sure I did things wrong in my playthrough. But it is, it's still one of my top 10 adventure games. Not a question. I love the worker placement. I love the push your luck on the dice. Do I do one worker, two workers? I love the inventions and how that can change the game from game to game. The events sometimes are just mean, but then you can find ways to mitigate it. I will say I always play with four characters. I feel like with playing less than four, you are affected by the event decks pretty pretty roughly. Like, like, let's say one of them says that each worker ha or each person has to leave one worker back in camp or something. When you do that as only playing two characters, that means you get two pawns for the round. Uh, here, I still get four pawns. I still can do different actions. Uh, having to leave that one pawn in the guard space that nah, didn't really affect me, right? That's because I had four characters. Yeah, I needed to find more food, but it gave me more options to find more food. So, and as you saw, d using the abilities, it's not hard to do on your own with four characters. So if you are thinking about picking this one up, make sure to try playing with four players or four characters if you can. I really think you'll enjoy it. I know you can play with the dog and you can play with Friday, but there's nothing like having each character have their own invention that they can build. I mean, creating that shortcut and creating the, the snare really helped us with our food. You only get that if you play with those specific characters. So, or if it randomly comes up into here, which it could, but you never know, right? Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you at the next stop.